Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for, you can say, the end of December, okay? So, what do we have for Gemini? I'm going to do this a little bit differently this time, to some extent. Claw, be careful. Do not take risks. It came falling out of the deck. I'd say that it is a very clear message. Are you going to ignore it? Are you going to forget about it in the next three hours? You know, the next couple of days. Okay, this is a clear message. Claw, be careful. Do not take risks. door opportunities are waiting for you so there's an opportunity that is waiting for you you have to open that door you have to go through that door the door is closed for some reason but there is an opportunity that is waiting for you what do we have for Gemini oh, that's too many I'm not doing it sorry well, I guess we'll take those though. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. May have something to do with the fire sign, may or may not, but this is strong emotion. Be careful, do not take risks based on your emotions. Sun, happiness and well being. There's an opportunity for happiness that is waiting for you. Mm. Now this is the end of December, so there's an oppor there's a opportun opportunity for happiness that is waiting for you, but you need to be careful. Don't be impulsive. Maybe you gotta wait for it. Oh, okay. I'll bring that out a little bit because I'm gonna do a little bit different of a spread. I guess I wasn't prepared. And maybe you're not going to be prepared for something. Anyhow, what do we have for Gemini? Ooh, phone call that changes everything. They have serious regrets for hurting you. One, 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 your th one, 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 your thoughts become things. So really pay attention to your thoughts. I don't know about you, but your thoughts really become things because I'm telling you what, I certainly have to be careful with my thoughts. I've been seeing it happening pretty much nonstop, okay? Your thoughts are truly manifesting, so make sure that you are thinking positive, all right? One, one, one. Your thoughts are manifesting. New ones are new beginnings as well. Instant manifestation. Somebody has thought, has serious regrets for hurting you, and it could be anybody, okay? This could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be a lover. There is somebody that has serious regrets for hurting you. Spring. Spring is prominent, however, you know, you're going to figure that out, but it looks like, you know, here, you know, we have the tulips, the flowers have blossomed, it's beautiful, you know, things are coming alive again, so spring is prominent somehow, you could be dealing with somebody that is born in the spring. for Gemini for the end of December. There's an opportunity that has been waiting for you. The door has been closed. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Be careful, do not take risks. That's fun. There is a phone call that is coming that changes everything from somebody that has hurt you. Whoever this person is, there's probably several people that have. Who knows, it could be anybody. Um, what do we have for Gemini? Ace of Pentacles reverse has been some sort of loss. Wheel of Fortune, something is happening. Changing directions. Ooh, the lovers. 
Unexpected choice in love. That is in the future. There's the Wheel of Fortune is a positive turn of events. It is something that is happening that is very positive. Luck is on your side. There has been an unfortunate loss. Somebody's been going back and forth. They were indecisive. Two of Wands reverse could be a sudden return. This is your energy and your energy position. There's been some sort of delay, stagnation, fear of the unknown, extreme anxiety. Somebody has been definitely unsure, indecisive. Maybe it's you, maybe you've been stuck. Thinking about going someplace else. Ooh, judgment right underneath the lover. So this says karma, but it is for some of you, there could be a reconciliation with somebody from your past. Could be a soulmate connection. Now, our soulmates are not just lovers, okay? Soulmates can be your family members, okay? Soulmates can be, yeah, your family members. They can be, uh, could be a past life connection here with the judgment card. Um, this could be a lover. It certainly could be a lover. Okay. There's a, there is a past life connection here or a soulmate connection here. I mean, there is, and this is in the future. This lineup is the future. So there's something happening. This is something very positive that is happening. Putting in effort, working hard. Somebody has been working really, really hard. To create something maybe had too much on their plate maybe maybe they've been working too much you know they didn't have time queen of cups or they were indecisive there's definitely some sort of indecision here with these twos reversed King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius you could also be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio um, Gemini, we have you. We do have you up here. Unexpected choice in love, a, a union, a partnership in the future. There could be a reconciliation or a past life connection. Uh, this is somebody that is driven, ambitious, enthusiastic, exciting. Uh, maybe a business owner, an entrepreneur even, or somebody that is in a position of authority. Very happy energy. So there's somebody here that is happy. They're, they're confident. You know, they have a very... Uh, uh, it's like invigorating uh, energy, okay? This is somebody that you know, is strong and dependable and reliable in the upright, okay, in the upright. This is somebody that is given to take action. So we have somebody here that is given to take action. This is giving something a chance, a partnership, a union, a chance. Maybe this is, maybe you need, maybe you need to be brave. I mean, you think about the King of Wands. The King of Wands is somebody that is very brave, courageous, doesn't let fear hold them back. So it feels like in the, this is a protector, you know, this is a protector of some sort, you know, that may be doing something to reconcile or uh, something like that. Whether this is a reconciliation or they may be doing something where, you know, um, it's definitely an option, making a choice. They're making a choice. They're choosing you. That, that lover's is a choice. It's an unexpected choice in love. Now, this could be... Now, when I say unexpected choice in love, it doesn't have to be actually be love. It has to do with a partnership. This could even be a work partnership because we do have work down here. This could be a working partnership that leads to love. Okay, this is a working partnership. It leads to love. There's been some sort of delay. There's been indecision. There may have even been an another person in the way, you know, that was... Uh, causing the delays because we do have another person here there's an unfortunate loss we have somebody here that is, is under a lot of pressure they've been under a lot of pressure they've had a lot on their plate they've been juggling they've been going back and forth they didn't know what to do um, maybe they've just been so focused on their work that they've lost an opportunity or they were just so indecisive that they've lost an opportunity the ace of pentacles is an unplanned loss of something solid something real something long term I feel like we have somebody here that uh, may have overcommitted themselves to something. They may be um, getting some sort of an epiphany. Maybe they've gotten an epiphany or they're going through some sort of spiritual awakening now because judgment is an awakening of some sort. That is the epiphany. It's a realization. You know, they may have to let something go to have balance, to have the union you know, the partnership that is meant to be, okay? Because this is a partner. The lovers is, 
you know it's a healing love it's a sensual connection it's you know it's a perfect match something is definitely happening this is the wheel spinning you towards some sort of partnership whatever this partnership is now this could be a work partnership or it could be a lover or whatever kind of partnership it is this is, a, this is the wheel spinning, it's good luck, it is meant to happen right now. Both of these cards are meant to be. This is destiny in karma, this is karma. This is uh, making a decision, a life-changing decision about a partnership, whatever this partnership is. So either you or somebody that you're dealing with is making a life-changing decision about a partnership. Um, could be a sudden, a spur of the moment decision with the two of wands reverse. Somebody's been thinking about it. They've been going back and forth. This could be taking, you know, all of a sudden, a sudden step. Um, somebody's been trying hard to make something work. Or they're going to be putting in effort to make something work. Um, there's been some sort of delays. There has been. And I don't know if it's because of... A lack of self-love but I feel like somebody is really thinking with their heart they're going to be acting on their feelings um, a phone call is coming that changes everything somebody has serious regrets for hurting you they're going to be expressing their feelings to you they're going to be putting in effort, whoever this person is. Now this, now this could be a new boss. It could be a father. It could be a masculine or a feminine energy. It, it, you know, judgment is a card of resurrection of something from the past. So something from the past is is coming back around, and I'm not sure exactly what this is. You may not. This could be somebody brand new. So don't get your panties in a bunch if you don't. You know, it's like I'm not giving anybody a chance from the past. This is, signifies you may want to give something a chance. There's a healing love here. There's, it, whether this is, you know, if you think about past life connections, you may not even met this person. You may not have, or you may. Anyhow, judgment is a card of forgiveness. It's for, it is, it's about, if you think about judgment day, it's going up there and, you know, it's going over everything that has happened and, you know, dealing with the consequences and forgiving and moving on. So, you know, maybe it's, it's time to forgive or to give something a chance. Maybe, maybe this even has to do with you not giving anything a chance because of something that has happened in the past. Anyhow, something is happening now with that Wheel of Fortune. It's a positive turn of events. It does have to do with the union. And this is an unexpected choice. It's like you don't see it coming. Okay? Instant manifestation. You've manifested something. A phone call is coming that changes everything. I think that we have somebody here that has been really struggling to make a choice now they've experienced a loss it's interesting because we go from the one of pentacles one of pentacles the ace of pentacles two of pentacles reversed this is this is definitely an unplanned loss it's 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 for going from two to one so i wonder if somebody is experiencing a loss or they've experienced a loss recently which has made them realize something this is a realization of the truth life-changing decision there has been some sort of delay letting something go to have balance to have that perfect union you may have to you may have to forgive and, and, and forgiving doesn't mean forgetting but you may have to forgive something to have peace and harmony the lovers is a card of a harmonious union something is happening somebody's listening to their heart they're going to be acting on their feelings. They're going to be putting in effort after there has been some sort of delay. You know, they may have let somebody else guide them or bring them backwards or something like that. Both of these cards are cards of consequences for the choices that you make. And these are choices as there's something about choices 
Somebody had no plan of letting something go. They've, they've been stuck in a position. They've been at a point where they didn't know what decision to make. But I feel like we have a sudden, it's like a sudden return or a sudden a spur of the moment decision to go in a new direction. Something is happening very spur of the moment. This right here could literally be at the right place at the right time. Somebody is going to be doing something. They're making a decision in regards to a partnership. Somehow you are involved. You may be reuniting with somebody that you have a past life connection with. You've manifested this. And this, like I said, it doesn't have to be a lover. I mean, it could be. This is a healing love. It's a, it's a spiritual bond. And we do have an angel here bringing two people together. And maybe we even have somebody that has passed away that is guiding somebody. Two people together. This is deepening a bond with somebody. You may, it may be completely unexpected. We have somebody here that is really feeling uneasy about a loss. They're not doing well. There's, there's, this is a, this is, they're not. They, they, they've been indecisive, but now they're going to, you know, I don't know if you're getting, you're getting a new position or to, there's a change in position or whatnot. Hero font reversed. Hero font reversed is having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. We may have somebody here also that has commitment issues or they are not your typical uh, traditional commitment material. You know, this person struggles with commitment. You may have somebody here that's getting out of a commitment. This could be the end of a contract. Seriously, this could be the end of a marriage or something like that. Um, but this could also be somebody that has commitment issues, uh, lack of faith, doesn't believe. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe now we have doesn't believe in karma. Something is happening. Doesn't believe in commitment. Uh, high priest reverse, struggling to do the right thing. Too many restrictions, too many re 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 uh, rules. Somebody, somebody has been struggling with something that has been restricting them. There's a lack of flexibility. There's a need to be flexible. There is a need to be flexible. There's a need to be open. There's a need to listen as well. I think there's somebody here that wants you to give them a chance. You know, you may be like, I'm not giving anybody a chance. And, but this is about card. Judgment is a card of forgiveness, but there's also, it's also a card of consequences. <laughs> consequences being held accountable for the things that were done so there is accountability here this is disbelief something is happening something from the past is coming back around there's judgment here somebody has abused their power the high priest reverse is typically a father figure or somebody that is in a position of authority that has abused their power and really struggles with social pressure doing the right thing because of social pressure. This is somebody who doesn't really like the rules or the restrictions, something like that. Doesn't like to follow the rules, may want to take a non-traditional approach. But, it looks like we have happiness, commitment, reunion, get together. There could be a get together. There could be an upcoming get together. That changes everything. A phone call is coming that changes everything either way. There's a need to let go of control, allow things to happen. There could definitely be a reunion here with somebody from your past that, that is asking for forgiveness or wants forgiveness or something like that. Now, some of you are going to get really upset with that. But you know, I don't want anybody from the past. Like I said, this could be anybody. 
This could be somebody you haven't even met yet. You need to let go of your restrictions. There could be some self-limiting beliefs here with the high priest reversed. You need to open your heart. There is somebody here that is going to be doing something. Um, I think you're being called to give this person a chance. I don't know who this person is. And you are manifesting. You've manifested something. This does have to do with a union that is very compatible. That lovers is a perfect match. This angel, you may be in disbelief because this is disbelief. And then we have the angel is bringing two people together. You know, you may be just be focusing on your work. You have a lot on your plate. You're not even thinking about that. Maybe you've turned your back on somebody as well because if you think about this, this woman has turned her back and it could be a male or a female working, putting in a lot of effort into oneself. There's self-love here. Turned her back on somebody now just focusing on self. Self-love is attractive, by the way. Self-confidence, that's the most attractive thing. So you may be attracting somebody. Um... Something is pots happening. It's very positive. This is this is the wheel of fate spinning you in a new direction. It does have to do with a partnership, deepening a bond with somebody. This is a past life connection. There could be some commitment issues here. There could be fear of commitment. Somebody may have been held back because of their commitment phobia. But it feels like we have a reunion or a get-together or something like that. There's a celebration here. We do have this be careful. Do not take risks. There is an opportunity that is waiting for you. Maybe you have to wait for it. Happiness and well-being. There is something happening that is, that is going to bring you happiness. There's something about forgiveness. Good luck.